Hey guys, my name is Drew and welcome back to another vlog. This is my second shot at this, so um... YOLO! First of all, how did I miss out that thing on my mouth? How? I'm not even going to bother removing my background noise. I don't care if I get a copyright strike, I just don't. The reason I'm doing a second shot is this because I thought the first shot wasn't quite as good enough and it was also seven minutes long. Why would I? Why? Why? <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about things that I do as a YouTuber and what I've learned from my experience over my Ooh, nearly? No. <sighs> My two years experience with YouTube. I've learned that you've got to engage your audience, you need creative titles, you need creative skits, you need a creative first 15 seconds. <coughs> you also need to upload very, very, very frequently, otherwise people are just going to unsubscribe and all that, um, stuff and like that. Anyway, to talk about my experiences on YouTube, here is my good buddy, Drew. Hello, Drew. Hey, Drew. How are you? Good. <coughs> Good. We're, okay, screw you too. We've learned that those take a lot of work to do. Um, pretty annoying, pretty annoying job, I must admit. It's not very fun. At least I'm not seven perfect angels for a living because the editing is not quite as perfect and the, the skits. I don't know where I was going with this, uh... Anyway, back to the topic of what I've learned from YouTube. I've also learned that you take a lot of time off of your social and normal lives just to do YouTube, and you've also got to do these shaky arm movements, otherwise your viewers aren't going to find anything to make fun of, and that's just not fun. And from all the other YouTubers that I've watched, it's very important to get a very supportive fan base and a very big fan base, otherwise you're just making your videos for no one, and Cookie Monster is sad because there are no cookies. The main point of this is just to be yourself on YouTube. Don't listen to what YouTube tells you to do because otherwise you're just going to do what all the other YouTubers do. I mean, sure, do what YouTube recommends you to do first because otherwise you're going straight to YouTube hell, but other than that, you should be all good. You should be fine, okay? My third video got 130 views in at least five weeks and why was that? Because I didn't listen to what YouTube said. I made my own content, I was original, and I mean, it's a pretty bad video by today's standards. But back then, it was something that my classmates thought was fantastic. And I owe that video for 20 of my subscribers. And I know that some of my subscribers are inactive on my channel, and I know that most of my Instagram followers are inactive because I get five likes, three five likes on average from 260 followers nearly, sort of, almost. watching my videos to tell me I need to improve and I know I need to improve but come on I spend a lot of time on these videos it's gonna be kidding me come on <laughs> earlier this year this one kid from my school asked me how long I spent making my videos I answered straight up three hours it was like how many subscribers do you have 30 I said I replied he's like how are you doing it for no one I'm like Come on! 30 people! That's the size of a classroom, actually. An entire classroom. And you're telling me that that is no people. I mean, to you that's no one because nobody even talks to you. 
because you are such just no but really and since then I've gained 40 subscribers and <laughs> it's basically my my channel is just a basic it's basically just a big in your face to everyone who has ever doubted me ever anyway from my uh, <laughs> 220 videos that I've made there's has been a lot of learning from oh from Power Tower Promo 1, which is going to be a movie by the way, which I'm glad I never did because that would have been the worst movie ever made, to this video right now, which I don't know what I'm calling this one, but um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, from that video to this video, there have been a lot of learning and a lot of happenings and a lot of events. I was just saying 2013, there were a lot of bad ones, which we'll get to in a future video that will be which we'll get to in another video, which will be released next month. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and if you want more videos like this, where I just rant on and on for nine minutes, yeah, subscribe. <laughs> this video is three minutes longer than the last take, and I'm, I'm just going to stick with this one. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Hey, you thought you were done with me? Well, guess what, you're not. I'm here to advertise my new channel, no, not my new channel. Well, I have two new channels, but those will be in the description. I'm going to advertise my new website, which is for the Drew Show Creators Association, which I went over last month in another video. Please check out that video. I will be doing an update on that series, probably this week, actually. You may have realised that I've been uploading substantially more throughout this month, few months. Well, I've had a lot more time on my hands right now. Uh, well, now I'm not going to have as much time because we are moving, but we'll get to that later. I've got a lot planned for you, Power Tower Episode 2 Part 2 is going to be coming out, and it will be coming out on my website the day before it comes out on YouTube. Hopefully, I'm not making any promises, but it will be a really, really good episode. And it's the first episode with a script, by the way. So... <laughs> And we also have a pretty big effects uh, thing going on. Back to my website, you've got pretty good website to look at the Creators Association on. You've got the home, which is basically the blog, and then you can go straight to the blog by pressing two buttons that bring you to the blog. You can subscribe to our email I guess. Then you can look at user posts which basically you click on one of the users which right now it's just me in red to green and when you click on one of them you'll see the YouTube post and Instagram post. Very recent ones so it's um, very specific and then you can also see our SoundCloud playlist which we will be updating to a new media standard because well let's just face it SoundCloud is pretty bad unless you have premium or pro as people do like to call it and I don't want to pay money for something that should be free. There's also an about and contacts page which pretty standard stuff uh, for the contact we will only be you know responding to people we do actually know in person until we get until we can hire someone who will do it all for us. So that's basically the website for you if you would like to check it out. A link will also be in the description below. I'm updating the descriptions all the time. So then all the descriptions on my channel will just be there, done, all the links, everything. I'm also starting a radio thing, sort of like Play Me Radio and the Monster Cat podcast, but it's going to be better. Why? Because I'm in it. That's about it. And again, thank you very much for watching. Yep, this take is 13 minutes, we should probably wrap it up here. Now I'll see you guys in the next video, which should be a pretty big one. <laughs>